Wherever you go, whatever you may do, may the angel within come shining through. Well, hello and welcome, all my beautiful earth angels, to the Angel Within Us podcast. I am your host, Jane Rinderer. The other day, while driving to my brother's house to drop something off, I passed through an intersection that had a large black bag in the middle. Everyone was driving around it, not knowing what may be inside. As usual, I say to myself, someone should move it. Then after dropping item off, I came through again. The bag was still there. This time, after some thought, I decided that That someone should be me. I pulled over to get the bag only to realize it was empty, but people were going to avoid it anyway, just in case. I'm about 50-50 when it comes to being the someone should. A lot of times it depends on circumstances and situations. Common ones are picking up unsightly trash in parking lots, moving shopping carts parked in car spaces, or helping people and animals in distress. One instance, while I was working FedEx in Bradenton, Florida, I was heading into a medical building to do a pickup. Pickups and some deliveries are on very tight time schedules. I saw this elderly woman down by her car tire. Granted, being Florida, it was at least 90 degrees. I asked her if she had an issue with her tire. She said no, that she had fallen and couldn't get up. I noticed a big bleeding gash on her arm that she had no concern about. Old folks are a tough breed. I was having trouble helping her up and not causing her more pain. Plus, she was so weak, she couldn't help much, so it was basically dead weight. So many people walked by without a care. Luckily, a man and his wife was walking in the building and the man was looking over to see what was going on and graciously came over to help. Eventually, an employee came out and saw what happened and went back in for a wheelchair. Once I saw the lady was in the wheelchair and in good care, I went in for my pickups. Last thing on my mind was if a package was going to be late. A person's well-being was at stake. That lady could have been me. What annoyed me was the wife of the gracious man helping us was constantly yelling from a distance that he was going to be late for his appointment. Thank goodness the man had the angel within him making the elderly woman's well-being a priority. Another time, while living in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I was running along a busy four-lane street close to my house. It was near dusk time and saw a dog had been hit by a car and was lying near the side of the road, but also still partially in the one lane. Fearing he would be hit again, I put myself in front of him to guide drivers around until more help came. Several times I came close to getting hit myself by distracted and careless drivers. This dog had a chance of surviving if not hit again. Thankfully, about 15 minutes later, a man with a truck stopped and put the dog in the bed of his truck and took him to the animal hospital. I could only pray the dog ended up okay. If I had said to myself, someone should and hoped someone did protect the dog, I'm sure he would have been hit again. But that someone be the someone should. As always, if you would like to share an Angel Within Us story to be featured on a future episode, email me at theangelwithinus at gmail.com. If you have a story or don't want to write it yourself, contact me and I'll put you in contact with my author friend, Christina, who would love to write it for you. You can also check out her new podcast and YouTube channels, A Slice of Pie with Christina May. For small bits 
of entertaining and inspirational topics. She's actually easier to find on YouTube depending on your podcast platform. Until next time, let's keep the angel within us light shining bright on all we meet to keep the positive ripple effect energy growing. And God bless.